Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Windows Northwood. Windows Northwood is a custom mod of Windows XP that, as I quote from the archive.org page, is designed to make Windows XP look like Windows 8 in the GMM alternate Windows universe. What I'm learning as I take a look through all of these ISOs is that there actually is a alternate Windows universe designed by a few different people. And this really intrigued me because will this look like Windows 8 as we know it? Or will this look like Windows 8 in an alternate universe that somebody has come up with? So I'm very eager to take a look at this and see because while we take a look at these kind of custom ISOs all the time, we never really look at ones that are along the theme of a custom Windows universe. So let's take a look at this and see what it reveals, what we can learn about this universe, and specifically what this interesting OS looks like. We've been taking a look at a lot of custom builds of Windows XP recently, solely for the fact because they're just really interesting. Windows XP is a very beloved operating system, and it's very interesting to see how so many people modded this OS to make it look and feel like their own. So here we go. That was a very easy setup. Really, at the top here, you can see that it says Windows Northwood. So they actually went and customized the went the extra mile here. But this was a very straightforward install process, just like we would see in Windows XP. So once this OS boots back up, we should be welcomed into the out-of-box experience. All right, and here we are. So let's take a look here at this out-of-box experience. We can see that it looks a lot like Windows XP, but just with some custom colors, some custom gradients, but not too much like Windows 8. Let's go ahead and move through this Windows out-of-box experience. My favorite part is when it asks for product keys because we're never given that information, but I have one that typically works. And here we go, let's just go ahead and skip over this part of the installation. Yep, that date looks fine. Uh, I love the part here that says placeholder text to insert text number two, very interesting. We do not need to be a part of a workgroup domain, and yet again, there is that text again very detailed. One thing I will say though that this is a pre-release version of Windows Northwood. It very clearly stated that so we are expected to see some bugs. I personally could not find any post or RTM builds of this ISO. I could only find this one that was on the creators page on archive.org that was just labeled Northwood. I couldn't find like any non pre-beta builds. All right, and here we are in the out of box experience. It doesn't look too much different from the traditional Windows XP setup or the out of box experience, except it does have a few different colors here and there. It does not have that traditional Luna blue. It's more of a lighter sort of sky blue. So I don't believe that this is meant to look like the Windows 8 that we know today. It's more so to look like a Windows 8 in again, that alternate universe, which is what I expected. I just actually I didn't know what to expect when I came to this OS so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is actually install VMware tools so then we can take a look at this OS a little bit more in depth with a better viewing experience for you guys all right and here you are on the desktop of Windows Northwood and we can see it doesn't look too much different from the original Windows XP but there are some refinements that make it feel more modern the first thing that jumps out to me is the font. We can see here the font on Recycle Bin looks different. It actually looks more modern than what we see in typical Windows XP. Same thing here with the breadcrumb in the bottom right. The system information has a different font and it looks more modern. On the desktop, we have this nice kind of modified Bliss wallpaper that I actually like a lot. And then we have our Recycle Bin. Then down here on the taskbar, we have our system time. Nothing too crazy there, looks typical. Then we have our Windows security alerts. So typically what we'd see in Windows XP, this is the original Windows Security Center, the legitimate one, not some fake one. We then have automatic updates because I'm sure that we're eligible for updates on this build. It's definitely not 11 years past the end of life. Then safely remove hardware, which we typically see in regular Windows XP. We then have our volume slider, which I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is a custom sort of sound there it's very unique and lastly we have vmware tools which i installed on the operating system over here on the left side of the taskbar we have our start menu which opens the windows xp or windows northwood rather start menu and it does look very similar to what we see in production rtm windows xp but it has some nice refinements again referring to the font referring to the colors i'm um, just look at this border here Windows XP didn't have this sort of, I don't know what to call it, but this sort of light look 
but it looks like light is shining off the edge of this. It's a different gradient, different color, as well as these icons down here are rounded. A lot of this to me is really just the font because the font makes it look so much more modern than what we saw back with Windows XP. So here by default, we have Internet Explorer, which is the legitimate IE6, so the real, real deal from Windows XP, followed by Outlook Express, Windows Media Player, Tour Windows Northwood, and then Files and Settings Transfer Wizard. Over here we have the typical things we'd see in Windows XP, for example, my documents, my recent documents, my pictures, my music, my computer, control panel, defaults, connect to, printers and faxes, help, search, and run. So nothing too out of the ordinary there. Let's take a look here through our all programs. I'm not going to read through all of them, but just taking a look here, we don't see anything too crazy or too out of the ordinary that would come with Windows XP. In fact, everything here actually did come with Windows XP, so there's no unique programs or anything strange there. Games, we of course have all of those classic Windows XP games, including 3D Pinball. Uh, nothing in startup. And then of course, how could it be Windows XP without the classic Windows Movie Maker? What a classic, unfortunately that doesn't come with Windows today. But we get a bunch of other bloated features that we don't necessarily need in today's builds of Windows. Let's take a look at actually the file explorer here. So let's go into my computer. We can see that this doesn't look too much different from what we typically see in Windows XP. However, I would like to bring your attention to the window borders themselves. They don't look like classic Luna borders, but rather they are a nice blue. I don't really know how to describe them. They just look nicer and more refined to what we saw in Windows XP. I, again, I don't know what the right words to describe these are, but I really like these window borders here. Again, same minimize, maximize, and exit button that we see in Windows XP, but the window itself just looks so much more refined and not as modern as things that we'd see in Windows 11, but regardless, still very modern compared to what we see with Windows XP. Let's take a look here specifically to see our disk usage. So this is a 40 gig disk. We are using only 3.38 gigabytes, which means we have 36.6 gigs free. 3.38 gigabytes, I wish a Windows 11 install took up that much space compared to, I don't even know how big, a Windows 11 ISO nowadays is about seven gigabytes, which is just crazy to me, but I digress. Let's come into the run and let's run Winver. Yep, Windows Northwood, copyright 2002. I actually do like this background here. It looks very nice. I'd be curious to know what it is, if it's just a gradient or if it looks like, I don't know if it's under the water, but I do like it. Let's also come in here and take a look at my computer. We can see the monitor even looks different. It's like a more detailed monitor than what we typically see in Windows XP. Pretty cool. And lastly, let's take a look at the processes and performance here. So for CPU, we're using regular Windows CPU utilization. It varies. Um, and then for, actually this is page file usage, so this is showing us our page file use. Uh, let's, if you want to see specific RAM usage, here's the physical memory usage in kilobytes. With that being said, this is just a brief overview of the Windows Northwood ISO. Definitely let me know what you think down in the comments below, and if this is a replacement for Windows XP, because truthfully, I hate to say this, I really like Windows XP, but from what I saw today, Windows Northwood is pretty cool. I really do like this. It's It feels very modern to me. Um, as I wanted to stretch that, but it feels modern compared to what we typically see in Windows XP, but that's just my opinion. Very curious to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe for new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. If you have any other recommendations of ISOs you want me to take a look at, also leave them down in the comments below. That being said, see you all in the next one.